Talking of exercise, yeah. you may remember just before Christmas we featured a man from Gloucester who broke the world record in cycling on an exercise bike. 26-year-old Jamie McDonald pedalled for 13 days with little sleep but he raised thousands of pounds for charity. Yes, but not happy with that feat. He's set himself a new challenge, running across Canada. That's the equivalent of more than 200 marathons. Now, it's pretty difficult to get this man when he stays still, but we've got him here on our studio <laughs> sofa. Jamie, you just won't stop, will you? No, first of all, I can't believe I'm here sat with you. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, stop it, we love all that. <laughs> What's, what is it that's firing you to just keep going? <laughs> You know, I spent the first nine years of my life going in and out of hospital, Gloucester Royal Hospital and uh, Great Ormond Street. Um, so I've got a real motivating, uh, you know, passion behind my, my adventures. And so, yeah. But do you think the last one maybe helped you think about this one? Because you did that and now the planning and it's all over. Do you think it left a bit of a void? You want to do yeah, it again? I had no idea that I'd be end up doing this next challenge, to be honest. You know, but the response that I got from the world record and people coming up to me and being inspired, now people are buying, buying bikes. So, you know, it's just spurred me on to, to go for the next adventure and keep Why going. Why did you choose Canada? Because you've already done a, done a bit of foreign travel, haven't you? Yeah, um, I had a visa for Canada. So, you know, I thought the best way to actually make the most of the country is by foot, you know, and truly see it. When are you going to do it? Uh, leaving in three weeks. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yeah. So, are you still fairly fit from doing the cycle ride? Because you went Bangkok to Gloucester, didn't you? I think we've got some pictures of that. And then you stopped and just stayed in Gloucester and just cycled for as long as you could. But yeah. you were shot at and everything on this particular journey, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, it was very scary for me, you know, being caught in a war zone. But, yeah. you know, as you can see, I met, you know, the most amazing people along the way and learned so much about the countries. And what I realise is that we live in a really big, friendly world. Uh, and, you know, and it's just the unknowing that scares people. But honestly, I cycled through Iran and Iraq and I've never felt so welcome in all my life. But wow. You might have surprised them, I guess, this British guy just turning up on his bike <laughs> in the middle of a war zone. So, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the, it was just endless amount of support. You know, they come in, wave me in, cup of tea, chai, Aww. food. Yeah, it was amazing. What an adventure. Well, very best yeah. of luck. Stay in touch with us and people can sponsor you, can't they? Brilliant. They can sponsor me and you can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Jamie McDonald. Okay, thank Mr. you very much. Thank you so much for Mr. coming. Mr. Jamie McDonald, thank yeah. you. And it's great to, to have you on our saddle as well. <laughs> <laughs> A bit more thank comfortable you. than yours, I expect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming awesome. in. Awesome, thanks. Now, Bath's Olympic gold medalist Amy Williams has been made the first official Team GB ambassador for the two, uh, 2014 Winter Games. Yeah, gosh, that's next year, isn't it? Her victory in the skeleton event in 2010 was the country's first individual Olympic winter gold medal in, would you believe it, 30 years? Yes, it's now hoped that she'll inspire team members for the next Games in Russia, as Lizzie Way reports.